I can't tell you how many times I've gotten requests for chile rellenos and they are a huge hit in my family too. So finally, I'm showing you how I make mine. But first, I'm going to show you how to make the salsa roja or the red sauce that is baked all over those chile rellenos. So I have two pounds of ripe tomatoes. Just cover them with water, bring it to a boil, and simmer them for about 15 minutes. You want them incredibly mushy. And then I have two garlic cloves. And then I'm going to add a piece of an onion, just a white onion. And some salt. And some freshly ground black pepper. I'm gonna puree these until completely smooth. And this is a basic used for so many things, from soups to stews, to just being the salsa that bathes those chile rellenos. And it's already tasty, but I'm going to season it just a little bit more by cooking it further. So I have here in my cooking pot two tablespoons of vegetable oil and it's been heating. I have it over medium low heat. I'm going to puree it, it may want to jump. I'm going to add one cup of chicken broth. And you can see actually now how it's starting to cook further and you want the sauce to end up being that deep flavorful red. It's going to simmer there for about 15 minutes. Chile rellenos are a big thing. The first thing you need for chile rellenos is chiles. The chile poblanos are great for stuffing because they are chubby and they're big and they have very thick skin and they have a lot of space for a lot of toffing. The first thing you do is you have to char or roast them. The most old fashioned way and traditional way is to do it right over an open flame. So what you want is to get this very, very charred skin all over. And this smells so beautiful, it smells like flowery and exuberant and just very, very fragrant. And you're gonna put the chilies in a plastic bag. You're gonna let them sweat for 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna use one that's not the one that I just put in there. So the skin comes right off. And then you remove the seeds and the placenta, which is on top and the veins. Today, we're stuffing them with Monterey Jack cheese. You can use a toothpick to help you close it, as if it was a safety pin. I think it would be hard for me to choose three family favorites of all time, because we have so many favorites, and then we keep adding on. But when choosing what to make today, I was just thinking of dishes that are my and my family's favorites, but also those that I think are family favorites of any Mexican family that I know. And then we're going to beat four egg whites until they achieve the most volume that they can. While my mixer is helping me out, I'm going to cover my chilies in this flour. This is going to help the batter stick to the chilies. put too much stuffing in them. I'm folding in four egg yolks very carefully until it all combines. You want to heat your oil over medium to medium low heat. And to test the oil, I'm dipping a tortilla 
What you want is for the oil to create bubbles, but you don't want it to go wild. I'm just covering the chilies in that batter, and then it goes right in there. This is how they sell them all over Mexico, especially in central Mexico. You wanna pay attention to those chilies because you don't want them to burn and you want them to fluff and brown. You wanna flip them carefully. What I would say to people who are afraid of making their chile rellenos, they're easier than you think, they're a joy to eat, and they're really fun to make. So if you want nothing to do with the batter or the frying in oil, you can just have your stuffed chilies with the cheese and you can finish them directly in the tomato sauce, which should be ready. It smells incredible and the color is just as I want it, very dark and it's thickened considerably. The way that we're gonna eat it, the traditional way, is to serve these chilies on a plate and bathe them with this sauce. Mama, what do we have? So tenemos the drunken rice with chicken and the chile rellenos with the sauce. Mmm. So what do you think, guys? Mmm, it's really good. I see that you're cleaning out the chile relleno, eh? Yeah. Did you get a spicy one? Yeah, mine was really spicy. You can get a super spicy one, and you can get a very shy one. A shy one? Shy? That's not supposed to You know, 